Hey guys. Um, so since I have some free time right now, I can't really fly because of the weather. Uh, I figured out I'm going to show you how I customize my radio, how I set up my radio for my helicopter. Uh, this is the stock radio that comes with the fly, uh, the fly wing FW450L, but the radio itself is not a fly wing; it's a Fly Sky A6S, and it's a pretty uh, popular radio among uh, multi-copter pilots. Um, before I start, I have to say there's nothing really wrong in the way Flywing set up the radio from the factory. Um, only thing is that it's set up not for the aspiring RC helicopter pilot who wants to develop the good habits of piloting a helicopters, but it's more aimed to this kind of dude. So it's more aimed towards the uh, the, the young pilot who either has. Uh, a regular GPS drone, uh, and this is a DJI. Uh, or uh, pilots that are not really interested into the sport and just want a a cool little, let's say, basher for lack of better words, and just fly around for fun. Um, now I get why uh, Flywing does this. Uh, for example, the one thing you will notice here, uh, first thing I did is to remove. Uh, the throttle return spring on the uh, left stick and put a tension bar behind the gimbal stock it comes with a photo return spring like this and all sticks uh, goes to center now this makes sense on a GPS uh, aircraft this makes sense because on a GPS aircraft you go fly around and something happens or you're tired you just let go everything and the aircraft stops where it is, stops in its track and won't budge around. But as soon as you take go out of the GPS stabilization, then this will work against you. Um, this works in GPS mode. If you're going into 3D, this will work against you. If you're going to fly manually, <coughs> and I'll show you how to do that, uh, this will work uh, against you. So. This is the reason why I reset up my uh, radio. Uh, I did not want to develop uh, bad habits as I'm learning. So the first thing I did, of course, is removing the photo return spring and put on a tension bar right behind. Uh, other things I did is I uh, modified what these switches do. Uh, again, so as not to develop bad habits, uh, I started, uh, for example, uh, stock. This is the engine run and engine stop. I relocated that uh, channel over here. So this is engine stop. This is engine run for me because uh, on my previous radios, this will be my throttle cut. Uh, it just made sense for me uh, just to get used to it. This is how the heli goes every button is away from me and if there's something going on i have to cut the the motor i just do it this way well i pinch so it's more this way um that's how i that's how it was on my previous radio and many rc helicopter radio have a switch here or here depends on what you're used to uh, but it's usually in this position so away is running and towards me is uh, the cut I mentioned uh, flying manually, so there's something that you have to understand with this radio. Uh, there's a mode that we call the flight modes. So in here, this is where you will find your GPS, your return to home, and your 3D settings. Uh, I believe stock it's on this uh, switch. So this will be return to home, this will be GPS, and this will be 3D. Uh, I switch all that, and I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, just so you know, there's more than three. Uh, if you look over here, so there's the return to home, the one we knew and love, uh, the GPS mode. Uh, the way I set up this radio is that the GPS is away from me, so I don't need to uh, move the switch in the middle to start uh, the heli. Uh, and there's the free mode, of course, the, the full manual free mode. And there's two more, there's ATTI, and there's one that I call normal. Uh, there's no official name that I'm aware of. But I call it normal. So what it is, uh, return to home, you know what it is. Uh, 
the helicopter goes back to where it took off. Uh, GPS mode is when you let go of everything. Uh, if my throttle gimbal is in the center, uh, the head will stop in its track and stay put where it is. Uh, ATTI mode now, uh, you have to know that there's three sensors in uh, the H1 flight controller. Uh, there's the GPS uh, 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 antenna that is external to the flight controller itself. Um, inside the flight controller, there's a compass. I believe there's two. There's one in the GPS module and one in the H1 as well, if I'm not mistaken. And more importantly, inside the H1, there is a barometer altimeter. So what ATTI will do is that it's the same as the GPS. It's got stabilization. Uh, when we switch through ATTI, we lose the positioning system. But the barometer is still active, and as such, the helicopter will keep its uh, altitude as long as my throttle stick is in the center here. Uh, so wind blows, everything, it stays at the same height. But it will drift around because there's no positioning with the GPS. Uh, and normal mode is basically a stabilized mode. Uh, so there's no barometer at play, there's no GPS, but it will still limit uh, the amount of through your server we have and limit how much banking the helicopter can go. Uh, it's sort of like the 6G stabilizations we see in the other helis. And 3D, of course, is no stabilization whatsoever. Uh, the heli is a dancing chicken on the sticks. Uh, just one uh, small thing uh, about calibration. Now, it's I say uh, we calibrate the GPS just for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, you know, GPS, uh, the GPS normally doesn't require any calibration. Uh, a GPS just requires some time. So if it's the first time you're powering up the heli, or if you haven't powered up for a long time, it will take some time before acquiring some satellites. Uh, but what's, once that's it done, uh, the next time you're going to power on, it's it's supposed to acquire your satellites quite quickly because it already learned uh, where he is, in which constellation it is, uh, Galileo, GPS, GLONASS, or Beidou. And that's all. It doesn't require special attention. Um, when we talk about the calibration, uh, spinning the helicopter around, we're talking about the compass in the flight controller. And to a degree, I think there's one in the GPS uh, module uh, as well. Okay, so let's power on my radio. Let's go. So everything in position. Um, you'll see here that I have uh, my timers going on. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So the way I've set up my timer is that timer one is linked to the power run uh, switch. So when I turn on the motor, the first timer is a countdown, uh, here I put it on 15 minutes, so it's going to beep in 15 minutes. Uh, the lower one is the overall time that the motor is uh, running. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, um, let's reset everything. Uh, let me do a new model so that I don't mess up my setup here. So model and we go into a new model, model 2. Okay, this is a brand new uh, model. Uh, you see flight mode is off. So this is as if I've reset uh, the radio. What you need to know first, let me put everything in position. And um, what you need to know first is uh, the channels. There's four channels that's, in, that's important for the flight controller. Uh, channel five is the flight mode. We're going to do that last. Uh, channel seven is the motor start. The channel eight is uh, the automatic flight. So the figure A, the uh, circuit flight. And channel nine is the inverted flight. For my, in, uh, for my purposes, I'm going to cancel uh, the O uh, flight, the circle one, uh, because I'm not really interested in automatic flight. Uh, I'm here to learn flying. I'm not interested in 
the head flying for me. So I'm going to show you how to uh, bind this flight mode to one of the switch uh, here. I've put mine over here so that if I want to do a circuit, you're going to do the uh, figure eight. Uh, I just hold that switch here and it just goes around as long as the switch is uh, pressed. Okay, so uh, let me just modify the lock screen so that it doesn't lock on me again. Uh, I think it's in system and screen lock. I'm going to put it on unlock so that so it doesn't lock on me while I'm talking. Um, right, uh, okay. So this is a brand new radio. We're going to go into uh, setting up uh, the radio. Quick note uh, on the TX here, this little thing, uh, it shows my battery is halfway down because I'm using uh, rechargeables here. So it's rechargeables are 1.2 volt instead of 1.5. So he's gonna see uh, the voltage low. It's supposed to be six volt. He's gonna see it at 4.8 volt. Uh, so this, a quick way to to handle that just click on it and we are just this to uh, 4.8 if you're using well, in whatever uh, battery you're using just adjust it to the voltage you're using here we go and here you see it full so now it's a true representation of the battery level here okay so let's Go, uh, let's start by uh, switch A. Switch A is where I've put my inverted flight, so it's channel 9. Let's go. So, um, this is going to be in uh, function, I believe. And auxiliary channels, here we are. So, I want my channel 9 to be on switch A. So it's this switch here. That is done, and I want my fly, my motor start, which is channel seven, on s switch D. So we go to seven, and I'm going to put this on switch D. It's this one, but I'm going to reverse it. So because I want it to start away from me, and I want it to stop when it's towards me. So we're going to reverse uh, channel seven. Uh, that's done for this. For, uh, for this part, uh, let's reverse channel 7. And channel 7 is this one, it's reverse. Okay, so right now I've switched, uh, I've set up these two switches. This is my invert switch, this is inverted, this is normal flight, and this is my uh, motor start or throttle cut. Uh, so this is cut, and this is motor run and run. This is how I'm used to it. Uh, it's also easier for me if it's crashing or it's going down. It's easier for me just hit it that way. So that's the two here. Now let's talk about those flight modes. So uh, the way this radio works is that I can assign a switch to a flight mode. So I'm going to assign the switch C to the flight mode. Uh, if I do that here I turn on the flight mode, it's on channel 5, that's good, and it's on switch C by default. Uh, let's go out. So you're going to see here, flight mode 1, flight mode 2, and flight mode 3. Uh, those are the three modes that comes with the heli. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this switch with this one. And that will give me a total of nine uh, flight modes. How is it going to do that? Now, let's go the, here first. So it's switch C. I'm going to add switch B here. Uh, now, let's, let me go out just to show you how it was, it's working. So now, when everything is away from me, we are in flight mode one. I move this one. The one I'm using for the mix, so it's flight mode one, flight mode two, flight mode three. Put this one down. It's flight mode four, flight mode five, 
frame rate 6, frame rate 7, frame rate 8, and frame rate 9. I have 9 flight modes now instead of the 3. Uh, if I used this one for the mix, it was going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 flight modes. So that's how the flight modes um, switches mixing work. Now, about those numbers. Now, this is how we're going to set up which position of the switch does. We go in, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, GPS mode in this position so everything is away from me. Uh, if I want to take off, I just unlock the heli and flick uh, this switch and it's going to start. I don't need to put it into middle or whatever. So, position one. This is going to be uh, GPS. GPS is 1500, as you can see right here. So we leave 1500 here. I go over here just to avoid confusion, and I'm just going to put this as uh, GPS. GPS. Here we go. That's done. The, it's all that there is to it. Now I want the second position here. I want this to be the normal mode. Uh, I want to go out of the GPS and go to into the stabilized normal mode. So I just select the position of the switch and same thing here. So normal mode, it's this one, 1300. So uh, let me put this into normal mode first. I'll rename this one. So uh, normal, normal here and the value is 1300. So this here we go. This is normal mode. And uh, the third position here, I want it to be the 3D mode. So I put the switch in the position I want to. Here. Rename the mode and it's uh, 3D. Now, uh, here I put it 3D, but on my setup, I've put it as idle up. Okay. It's just one thing I'd like to do. So, free. It's 1000. And we go to 1000. Okay. Everything back. Here now, I want this second position to be the ATTI mode. So, same thing. We go back. Uh, ATTI. A. Oh, come on. A T T I and A T T I is fourteen hundred and fourteen hundred. Here we go. Uh, we're not over the net, so there's there's more modes here. So I want this one to be home. So I'm going to put this as. Uh, this is going to be return to home and RTH is uh, 2000 2000 here we are here it is uh, it's not over yet because this is the seventh mode so there's one two three four there's five, six, seven, uh, nine modes we have to work on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that everything left, uh, mode five, mode four, mode nine and mode eight, for example, I'm going to put everything on return to home. Uh, you'll see why in a moment. So this, I'm going to call this RTH as well. So, uh, th and rth is 2000. Rth is 2000. This mode here, 
OTH as well. OTH to two thousand and there's two more here. Oh D H two thousand and one last this one this one here so same as others uh O D H D H and two thousand and we're done that's me setting up uh, the switches so let's see how that works <coughs> so <coughs> sorry i take up take off in gps mode switch to if i want to switch to atti i go this way it's now in atti if i want to go to the normal mode non uh, no gps no barometer altimeter this one it's normal and 3d mode is all the way down here if I want return to home in a panic, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. So I go to RTH all the way down, or in whatever mode I am, be it in 3D or in normal mode, I just flick this switch and everything is RTH. This switch, everything is RTH. The only way this is going to be ATTI is that if this one is all the way up then the second position here is ATTI. AT Everything else is ready to uh, return to home. So that's how I set up uh, my switches. Okay, so um, now let's talk rapidly about uh, the, the timers. It's really easy to set up. Uh, so as I've shown you, the way I set up my radio is that this is off motor off i want that as soon as i start the motor there's a countdown that start on timer one so let me show you how to do that this is timer one this is timer two we go to timer one and we go into uh, setup and I want to go down uh, quick word uh, what it means by up down or down up going up means that as, I, as I'm going to switch this on it's going to come from zero and going up so it, there's no alarm uh, countdown is from a higher number down and when it's over it's gonna beep and down up is that it's going to down first it's going to beep and it's going back up so there's a yo-yo effect here so i want this to go down and uh, okay let's say just to see this at work uh, i'm going to put this on 10 seconds 10 seconds just to show you how it works so it's a down uh, it's a down timer if i start you see it going down if i go back you see it going down and it's gonna beep yeah now i want to start this timer i reset it back to 10 seconds i want to start this timer with this switch uh, right here go a bit lower to the switch assign so there's two type of switches uh, the reset switch is Put it back to zero. Uh, the enable switch is starting the timer or stopping the timer. Not stopping, pausing the timer rather. So I want the reset switch, I want it to stay switch D here. And I want it to be in the up position, uh, sorry, in the down position. So that when this is down, it resets uh, the timer. Starting the timer, it's still switch D, and this time it's the up position. So what this is going to do here, that the timer is going to start when this goes up and resets when it goes down 
let's see this at work. So this, here it is, the 10 seconds timer. I switch it on. It's going down, 10 seconds. And it's going to beep here. Yeah. And when I shut down the motor, it resets to 10 seconds. Yeah. Timer 2, I set it so that is the overall time that this thing is on. So I'm going to timer 2. Uh, setup. Okay, it's an active mode. This one is going up. So to enable it, same thing as before. So it's switch D and it's in the up position, same as timer one. And to reset this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on uh, this key here. So that is key two. There we go. Um, let's test it out. Okay, we're going to look at timer two now. Starts and it's when it started going up. I stop the upper one resets but the lower one doesn't do anything. If I restore the, the motor, timer 2 continues to run and uh, timer 1 restarted. And if I want to reset timer 2, let me push it a little bit just to, uh, here. Uh, if I want to reset timer 2, I just hit the button behind and it's back to zero. And uh, that's the timer. So I think that's it. Last thing uh, about the figure eight. So the figure eight is the automatic flight mode. Uh, I don't really use it, but it's here. Let's put it somewhere. So back to auxiliary channels. We are looking for channel eight. So channel eight, and this will be So uh, I don't have to hit the switch here. I have to switch the this icon here. So to select if it's a switch, if it's a key, or if it's one of those uh, variable inputs. So here, I click here. And this is going to be a key. And this is going to be key one. Key one is this one right here. Um, so normally for the automatic flight, there's free mode, there's normal mode, uh, there's ring flight and the figure eight. Uh, but because it's the key and there's only two positions, it's going to be either normal or it's going to be the figure eight. And the figure eight is click and holding this switch. So as long as you're holding it, the heli will fly in the eight pattern. And when you let go, uh, the heli stop. Um, so that's about it. That's how I set up uh, my radio. Uh, all this to avoid some bad habits. Uh, starting by the throttle return spring of course and uh, the position of the switches here oh that's my timer going on uh, yeah so especially about the switches here uh, in many of the heli days uh, stabilization or idle up idle up one normal idle up one idle up, idle up two uh, it's usually around here so that's why i'm trying to emulate here uh, when I'm going to, to GPS into a normal mode, which is a stabilized mode, uh, and 3D, which is basically an idle up mode. Uh, I don't really use this one, uh, but it's good to have, to have ETI, and more importantly, to have a uh, return to home. And, and what's interesting here is that uh, because I pinch, say I'm in uh, normal mode, uh, I'm trying, I'm learning to fly. Uh, I have a panic. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just flick everything up and it goes to either GPS mode or if it's whatever this position here is, is a uh, don't hope. But I, I avoid using this one because it's way too close to the throttle cut uh, button. I'm not really uh, happy with this position, but uh, there's no other place to put it. So I avoid this part completely when I'm flying. Uh, this is mode two, this, this is a cyclic. 
and this is the only one I play around and when I have some friends to impress then of course some freedom maneuvers but this is the main switch I use so these two red ones, red ones here it is so that's how I program my radio uh, nothing fancy just something that I feel is closer to a real uh, to a real uh, RC helicopter radio uh, the radio itself is not bad uh, you just have to take some time with it and make it your own here we go so see you next time